So what's going on YouTube world? Zay Lot 23, y'all already know. Coming at y'all with another video. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding you already know. So we gonna come through with a raw salad today. So listen up, let's get into it. So we got green beans, we got okra, we got kale, we got lettuce. Majority of this is right out of the garden. The okra, the lettuce, and some kale is right out of the garden. No stores, no nothing, just straight fresh out of the ground. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and get some of the okra. And I'm gonna start slicing. There we go. Make it as fine as you want. Alright. And now I'm just getting some of the salad. And we're gonna make the salad real fine. We're gonna chop it up. So yeah, we can just go ahead and cut some of the green beans. Go ahead and put the whole thing in there. Put a banana in there. Now that banana thing going on. Oh, yeah. and next, we're gonna put some blueberries in there. We're gonna marinate the salad. So I got avocado. You need an avocado and sea salt. But then also you can use some cayenne pepper, some herbs, whatever you want to do to pretty much add more flavor to it. But what I've noticed is, is that the sea salt, the actual sea salt, is what makes the flavor jump. So you definitely want to have sea salt, okay? I can add a little garlic powder, okay? And next, all we do is, you just want to mash it up, mash it up. Yes, mash it up, mix it all together. And this is what's going to bring moisture to the salad. It's not going to be a dry, raw salad. You know, I don't know how much fun that is. <laughs> so definitely the avocado is what makes the taste jump and it also makes it moist so that it will make it a better experience, will make it very enjoyable. Okay. Pick some tomato straight off the vine. See, these are ripe. See? See. Ah. Give thanks and praises. So, we got the watermelon right here growing right off the vine. No stores, no nothing. It's an organic watermelon, it has seeds. In it. No chemicals, no pesticides, no nothing. So check this out. A natural watermelon straight from the vine. It's a seeded watermelon. It has seeds in it. No store. Cutting out the middle, man. This is what we need to get to. So check it out. Okay, so first I'm going to wash the tomatoes. First wash the tomatoes and now Slice it up. You can leave the green parts on the tomatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and put the tomatoes that I harvested today fresh off the vine in there. Been taking in a whole lot of solar energy, a lot of cosmic energy. So all this energy is about to really give me some good information, a good download into my body, into my system. This is what we got going. Cause the earth knows what you need. And it grows what you need right there when you need it. Okay. Okay, so this is how the salad is looking right now. 
colorful, right? Beautiful salad so far. Now, we're gonna use the avocado that we're gonna use to marinate in the salad, and we're gonna go ahead and put it in. And this is what's gonna bring moisture to the salad. Also gonna bring more nutrition. And imagine eating like this every single day. Do you, you will literally have an S on your chest. We went ahead and we put it in. That's what we looking like. Check it out, check it out. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just stir it up in there. And this is what's gonna lively up the taste. Also, if it's not moist enough, what you can do is you can do another avocado and you can get it as moist as you want. Yeah, check it. Bah! So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some organic flax seeds. Very great source of fiber. Very good source of fiber. That's what we got. And now, you wanna make sure you experiment when you're creating food and when you're creating recipes. So, I'm going to add just a little bit of moringa in there. I'm going to add a hint of moringa in there. Moringa powder. Just to add a whole lot of nutrients to it. That's what we got going. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix it together. And there you have it. Check it, check it. And now, Go ahead and serve myself up. So there we go, we got the food going on. We all need the healing. We all need the physical healing, the mental healing, the sexual healing, the spiritual healing, all of this. We gotta heal together. So, first and foremost, you already know the food. You see, the food is the tree and your body is gonna produce fruit according to that tree. So, if you utilize what the earth then gave naturally, then your body's gonna appreciate it and it's definitely going to reciprocate whatever that you give to it. So we give all thanks and praise to nature, to the most high for life and for strength and for health, you know? I give thanks. Thought I'd give a close up for y'all real quick. Check it. The raw salad we just made marinated with avocado. So there you have it, YouTube world. I appreciate y'all for watching all the time, every time. You already know what it is. Wisdom, knowledge, overstanding, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to enjoy, you know? Give all thanks and praise for life. Mm. Yes. Tastes just as good as it looks. Health is your wealth, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye! I now create copper bangles. I hand create these. And actually, copper is great for alleviating joint stiffness, joint pain, and arthritis. The ancient Egyptians used it to purify water for drinking. And cultures around the world use it as a form of medicine for such afflictions as sore throat, eye infections, and skin conditions. It was also applied to wounds to prevent infection. Copper is a natural healer. So swing by the website at www.shop.mynaturalroots.com support Marcus Mosea Garvey, self-reliance, self-determination, self-sufficiency. I give thanks for y'all watching. Enjoy every moment. Love to your heart, peace to your mind, and guidance to your spirit. Peace and love.